Pink Barbie dreams and I'm the dream maker. I play with my dolls and sings the pink maker. I got the dolls to stay glammed up. So hop in my Barbie coop and stand up. I'm Jewel Dream and needs my dream dolls. If you don't like the dream, then just dream on. This is a space for love, light, and play. So welcome to my channel. It's the dream way. Hey, what's up, y'all? Be bitch if you're still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Things feel like I'm ready to run. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Like, grab these. What's up, y'all? It's Jewel Dream Doll, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being a dreamer. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm doing another integrity fashion doll haul, period. But this time, I'm going to be doing um, online brands um, from Instagram that I've purchased from along with Etsy, but these are all online accounts um and i believe they all have se accounts as well i know two of them do i'm not sure about this other one but yeah so i just wanted to give my thoughts opinions feelings view tell you guys whether or not you should purchase from them i know these are doll accounts at least two of them that are really popular on instagram um that people have you know talked about some are new one of them's new um i got some mixed reviews like i said i got good and bad some of the girls arrived fashionably late some of them just arrived late um it's some if we're gonna get into some things um this is gonna be an interesting video because this is i feel like the first video where i have to be real and like raw with you guys in like a sense that it's not gonna be all good i know you guys are used to me giving like really good good happy reviews because that's me y'all know how i was raised i'm like if you ain't got nothing nice to say just don't say it but i do have to speak my truth i do owe it to my audience to be honest about the things that i get just in case you guys want to purchase from these people because we did have a couple little hiccups and a couple little problems so we're gonna get into the things we're gonna jump right into it um some of the dolls i already have styled in some of the clothes from particular brands because i had to wait so long for this video this video was originally supposed to come out months ago but because of the late um outfits that came some the the two two of them were late and one was delivered today the other one was delivered yesterday and i showed you guys in my past video a little taste of like one of the um sites that i ordered from so i got my cute little pros and cons list um everything that i say is coming from a place of love constructive criticism but i owe it to you guys to be real honest about my experience so i have to just keep it real raw um but yeah i'm excited to get into this video i've been it's been a long time waiting i've really been wanting to do this so Let's just jump right into it. OMG. Okay, and we're back. I had to put my glasses on because you know I'm about to read these. Yeah. So we're going to I got my little pros and cons. I was not playing y'all. <laughs> but for real, for real. So we're gonna start with Hot Couture. Um, I've been following Hot Couture for maybe a couple of months now. I've always liked their stuff, always thought their stuff was really cute, but I was just like. Um, I never ordered from them. <laughs> I have a friend who's ordered from them, always gave me good reviews and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, let's get into Hot Couture. I'm out of breath because I had to run upstairs. But um, <laughs> so Hot Couture is actually based out of Poland. I feel like I've been to Poland, like I passed through Poland, but I've never actually like touched foot, like, like really been in Poland. But Poland's pretty far. So they came from Poland. Um, I placed my order on August 16th. Um, it was made August 17th, and then it was shipped the 18th. So I'm really happy with Hot Couture, and then it got delivered on the 26th. So it only took um, like a week and three days, literally, from Poland. So their stuff came really, really quick. Um, I have a lot of things on their pro, pro, their pros. Um, don't really have any cons. Um, I have their website, which is hcfordolls.com. So hot, hot couture for dolls.com. Um, so yeah, I got my little things that I'm gonna talk about as I go. So let's just start showing the fashion. <clears throat> okay, because I'm really excited about this one. This one is like got me the most ecstatic um, because they did the best. I have really nothing bad to say about them. So I ordered three trousers 
let me see, one, two, three, four. I ordered four trousers, one pantsuit, and three skirts. So, and I styled these already. So, some of them. So, you're going to be able to see, like, how I restyle them and et cetera, et cetera. So, the first one I'll show you is some cute trousers that I got from them. And they came, this is Hot Couture. So, I have the name up here, as you guys can see. Um, the packaging was really good. They came with really good packaging. Let me let me touch on that a little bit. Packaging was really was really nice. Um, they came in like these cute little. Um, they had their stuff like wrapped in like cute little tissue paper, and it was just really cute. They had really good packaging. Like I said, I opened a lot of this stuff up before because I didn't know when any of it was coming. I wanted the video was always planned to review all three of these brands together. I didn't know it was going to be a stark difference in how they you know my you know what i'm saying so yeah anyway yeah so um these are the pants that i ordered from hot couture really really cute i love this kind of pattern that they got going on it's like busy but it makes sense and i always thought it was kind of like a cute little high-waisted like office attire more formal wear and I was just like, you know, this is really cute. This is something different from my collection. Um, it almost gave me a little Afrocentric. I knew if I put it on like a darker doll, black doll, that it was going to lean more into that kind of look. Um, I paired it with these kind of like earrings. Um, the jewelry. So this is kind of like a restyle video too, because I'm showing you guys how I styled some of these things. And I will be styling some of them on camera for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I paired it with this big kind of like boho-ish kind of bag. And then I, I did these heels. So the only thing that I actually got from Hot Couture was the pants. The quality, chef's kiss. Like, I've noticed with their pants that their pants have kind of like a... um like a crease you know when in real pants is like how they have crease like dress pants like you know when you fold them up a certain way they have like a crease in them like literally the pants are like creased to a t like they're creased really really nicely and they have like a stiffness a firmness like it's it's like literally like they got dry cleaned like that's the perfect way to describe like their clothes is like they came dry clean so i really really love this look i really really love these pants another up close of them just so you guys can see the back so they snap in the back they come apart snap in the back easy so easy little snaps in the back i love that and the snaps are so are like i don't know they're like sewed on like really really good though like literally sewed on so nice like tight like you know you can snap this snap this and eventually the strings it'll take a lot for these strings to come undone so that's not something you have to worry about of course you still want to snap with caution but <laughs> it's not like you're gonna just you know over time the string will come out so keep that in mind so i really do love that i really do love that about them so that's just one of the pants i got another similar trouser that came in like this kind of like marble chocolate ice cream um kind of look going on i paired it with this leather top like i paired that i was feeling like a black look with these items that came from his shop um similar earrings and jewelry to match that's a ring she already kind of had on i just didn't take it off but i thought it was cute it kind of went with the look um the boots the the shoes that i put on with this don't really go the color goes but like the style doesn't but since they come down so far can't really tell so i love that um so but the pants are cute y'all like the quality once again top notch they snap in the bag these ones actually have like pants like functioning um pockets so she can put her hand in her pocket the other one didn't i didn't mind that though so she can put her hands in her pockets, both pockets to be exact, if you want to do it like that. So her hands are in her pockets. Once again, they had that crease that I was talking about. Like, it's just, it's a stiffness to these that I like. Like, you know, most clothes, you know, doll clothes, to be specific, um, you know, they kind of like just fold up and they kind of just look 
like anything, like they lose their shape if they're not on the doll. These literally, if I'm gonna take them off just so I can give you guys an, so show you guys a thorough example of what I'm talking about. These pants have the shape still, even when they're off. So you, even when they're off, you know how they look. You look at these and you know they're high-waisted pants. If they didn't have no shape, they would just be looking, you know, they, you wouldn't know what they was. They could be a skirt. They could be a dress. You wouldn't know because they would be falling all together like this. But look, they even have the crease. Like it literally looks like these. I don't know if he hangs these or whoever makes these. I don't know if they hang them, but they are iron them, creasing. They literally look like they went to the mini doll dry cleaners. So I love that. Like, I really, really love that. Um, yeah, I really do. I really love that. put these back on her she's got her little new panties on under here <laughs> really really cute so that's my second pants that i'm showing you guys second pants okay mm -hmm. i think those are my favorite pants that i got thus far from them well i really like these two so next I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I've been wanting some lace pants for my dolls for a while now. So they had these lace pants for them. So the lace pants look really, really nice. I paired it also with some jewelry, similar jewelry to the other ones. Like I'm going for like an Afrocentric kind of look with some of these looks. Um, she's got more of a beachy vibe. Um, Naja was more like... I don't know. Naja was like a going out kind of like, but like formal brunch kind of look. She was like a work look. This is kind of like a beachy vibe for me. So this is the pants. Once again, high-waisted. High-waisted pants are kind of like their thing. She got the 613 bust down, period, to the back. <laughs> um, She got the brown corset under the top. Heels to match the back. I want to post this look so bad. But very, very cute, very demure, very mindful. I'm weak. I can't, because I can't stand it. <laughs> Everybody's been saying that, but it'd be stuck in my head now. But literally, she's given. So I love the lace detail. Very detailed, uh, very fitting, as you can see. It's actually a, a nude, off-white kind of color. I looked on, like, when I looked online, I thought this was going to be white. But I wasn't mad that this was nude. And it also snaps in the back, so... Cute little snap in the bag. She holding on to that bag, ain't she, babe? Yeah, love that. She ain't let that bag go not once. Period, girl. You ain't embarrassing me. So she let it down as soon as I dropped her. I'm screaming. But um, <laughs> period, you did right though. She kept it cute for the camera. So love that. So those are um the three trousers that I got from them. Now, I did get two skirts. I got three skirts. So I got this skirt. So you guys can see it. I got this skirt. And I didn't get as much stuff from the other the other two that I'm going to talk about. So this video shouldn't be super long. And I got some Ken pants, which I can, you know, use on Ken's. I can use on Kirby's. I can use on my Meteor dolls. My any my I can use on my girls, too. So I thought these was really cute. Like, I really love the... Um, I don't know what you call this type of print exactly, but y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, we've seen this before. Almost like painting print. Like, you see, like, famous paintings that are redone on pants. Similar to this skirt. Really cute. I really like the flares on this one. And then I got this pantsuit for my mini-me for my anniversary. My anniversary is September 13th. Um, I actually have somebody in the process of making me a mini-me, like one that actually looks just like me, that I bought this suit for. So I might not even be showing this shoot, suit on September 13th. I might just post a, a woman doll to, you know, she'll be me for my anniversary and then pop out with this later on. But I am going to show it to you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, and then I got this other skirt. I want a custom doll that I'm not ready to show nobody yet. I'll let y'all see her from the back. That's it. <laughs> That's a secret. Mm -hmm. 
but um yeah <laughs> i had to give her a little peek but this is the other skirt that i got from hot couture so as you can see like like i was saying they keep their shape so i love that about their clothes it's just so realistic um human clothes don't even, honestly human clothes don't even keep their shape this good like but when they you know when you got the money and you go to the dry cleaners often ironically my parents be going to the dry cleaners so their clothes would be looking crisp and clean like this mine don't but <laughs> but um this is cute so i really love this skirt i love the writing on it almost like comic style newspaper style i thought this was really interesting to look at so i'm going to use nausea as a model to just try on these things real quick so you guys can see how they fit Naja has a new face body, if you was curious. So she has smaller breasts, um, around the same size butt as the others, the other um, dolls, such as like Poppy. Um, fashion royalty might have a smaller butt, but yeah. But this is how the skirt fits on a new face doll. They fit really good on um, Fashion Royalty too. So, period. So his clothes are made more so for New Face, Fashion Royalty. Um, they're too big for Poppy. I tried them from what I what I remember, but I know for sure if you're interested in buying, buy for New Face and Fashion Royalty. Everything else is up in the air. Maybe um, Meteor might be able to work too. I'm not sure, um, but you know, it fits really good. Buttons in the back. Really nice. It will fit better if her, you know, it fits perfectly around her waist. Her top is kind of like in the way, but it fits pretty good. I need to cut my nails, but <laughs> super cute. Super cute. Okay. I'm going to show you guys this one. And keep in mind, they'll look better if I really take more time to style them. But I'm just choosing Naja because she has on a black top. And I was like, okay, the other looks was too cute for me to touch. She was the easiest to, <laughs> to take off and get ready. And I already had took her pants off. So, yeah. so this is cute. This is how this one looks on. So I would, if I was doing this, you know, really restyling this, um, I would get in like, I was going to use this shirt, but I would do like a, Probably like some something cuter than this, but like a white blouse, some type of nude blouse to kind of tuck into it since it's like a pencil skirt type of vibe, um, you know, and just kind of work it like that. So this is like an off-white color, very um, avant-garde, very situational, very situational, um, but low-key every day for us because we just fabulous like that, but um, real cute, real cute. So I really like this skirt one. Y'all see what that looks like on with the heels. I wouldn't I wouldn't pair that together, but it's just so y'all can see the fit. <laughs> and then last but not least, this skirt. I really, really love this skirt. That's why I had it on somebody over there. Paired much better, but y'all can't see my new girls yet. I'm, they still in the lab. I'm still figuring out how I want them to look. So this is cute lovely 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 mm -hmm. period so really really cute skirt so some of the pros that i had listed for hot couture was the quickness the stuff shipped very quick like i said total total it came in a week and three days updates they gave us updates um along the way so he sent uh first i got an update about the order being placed i got an update about um my order being made and what's crazy was order was placed on the 16th i got an email saying it's being made the 17th and then i got an email saying it was shipped with tracking on the 18th and then it delivered on the 26th like i wasn't playing with these pros and cons so <laughs> that's a pro in my book like it was very quick very efficient and we got updates the whole entire time so the only update that I get, didn't get, oddly enough, was that it was delivered. But I mean, once they sent that tracking out, literally immediately, they're like, you know, you can do that yourself. I'm not mad at that. Um, and then another pro that I thought was really um, good about their site was things disappear as they become sold out. Um, so 
they have things on their on their site you know some some people have like a bunch of things on their site listed and they're not available their stuff um disappears as it's sold out so you'll never go in there and see anything and it'll be out of stock essentially unless it says out of stock i think he they might have a couple things that say out of stock but not really usually when you go up there and look it just what's on there is available to buy you buy it you keep it pushing um, they also have sales when things sit for too long. So that was something that I noticed, something that a friend noticed as well, that when things on there sit for too long, they have a good little sale. That was part of that was one of the things my friend told me about before I really got into them. And I was like, okay, that's that's nice to know. So when they when things sit for too long, they have a sale. So I'm pretty sure they make all their money, they get all their stuff sold because they have really nice pieces, as you can see. And if something sits for too long, they'll give you a sale and you can get it at a discounted price. So sometimes that means you can wait things out. If you think, you know, it won't be popular and everything won't get it. I got all these things on sale. Um, okay, I only have one con. I do have one con. The only con I had for them is that I had two. Um, the first one was cute. I wish I had more money to buy more things from them. So that's really not a con. That's really just a me thing. But um, the only other, the only real con that I would say was you do have to sign for them. So if you don't work from home and you can't make it home, you know, and you got to keep an eye out on that, that package and that shipping. And I didn't notice. I just happened to be home that day because I, I was anxious and I wanted to see my stuff. So it just so happens that I was home. I was able to sign for it and good to go. So that is something to know and keep in mind that if you do order from here, you do have to sign for your package. Um, so keep that in mind. That's my only little, only little tip. So yeah. So the next thing I have him down here because of course I can't see y'all. I can't let y'all see my little mini me. Um, even though I don't have the one I want yet and I don't think he's going to be ready in time, but that's okay. Um, you know, so I'm going to let him try on the, the pants. I have not tried these on a Ken yet. So I'm seeing this for the first time myself, how they fit. Once again, like, I love the shape. I really love the shape. So let's see how they look on. I'm excited. Ooh, oh, snap. Come on now. Okay, and he has functioning pockets. I kind of forgot about that. So they fit really good on the Ken doll. Hey, we like the party. Okay, so come on, app show. But yeah, he's posing it up for us real quick. So you see they fit on his waist perfectly. Literally. They look so good on. They literally look like a nice little pantsuit. They have functioning pockets so he can tuck his hands in there. Man, my little mini me is about to be fly. Y'all ain't about to be seeing him. I hope y'all ready because I've been telling y'all I'm going to get these boys right for a minute. And I'm, as you can see, I'm ordering little things here and there. I'm keeping my word. So when, it, when I'm telling y'all when they come out guns blazing, I just want all my praises. So he got his little hands tucked in his pants. Look at how cute he is, y'all. OMG. So adorable. So adorable. So this really makes me happy. So yeah, he looks awesome. I'm just can't wait. I'm just so happy that I'm getting my boys together because I know I've been doing y'all dirty. I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> my one little shelf dedicated to them because I don't have that many. Um, and I got like two in the integrity, integrity case, which y'all have seen in my last video because I used them for skin tone references. So y'all got some camera time. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to get my boys looking just snazzy because i mean i just one thing i just really love about collecting and like dollstagram and everything like i just feel like i bring you get to bring your own uniqueness to it but i know me and i just love my you know i love what i do so i love the uniqueness that i bring to it so i know how people tend to dress their boy dolls and i know how i am i dress differently from a lot of people if i'm being honest i dress pretty more like on a relaxed side but like when i do dress up i feel like it's very much like me like oh yeah that's him um <laughs> well that's a good or a bad thing because i don't really consider myself like the best dress i feel like i dress my dolls way better than i dress myself i just don't be having the money i'll be putting it all towards these guys but i just love the i just love that we all can bring our uniqueness to dollstagram and like you know i just love what i feel like i'm gonna bring to the guys like i just feel like i'm gonna bring something different um because i'm excited I really am. Now, 
Okay, so I guess this just doesn't have a button. So that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is how the suit looks on him. Very handsome. First of all, he might have to wear this, to be honest, after me, of course. But he might have to wear this. Like, I don't know. He might have, he might have to wear it first because it looks so good on him. Ooh, this looks good on him. That's a snazzy man. It's a snazzy man. He looks really good. So I don't know how these will fit on um, the homies, guys, but I believe they make them for both. One thing I do love, another pro about Hakator is, excuse me, they put in there what this stuff is for. You know, my, most doll brands do. So I believe this set for Ken. I think they give you an option to make it for Ken or um the home home is it homies homies homes the integrity guys they give you an option like do you want to make it for ken or do you want to make it for integrity of course i said ken for these in the pants so this is what this looks like a close-up just so you guys can see the detail so i wish this did have a snap though that's one thing i will say i wish it did have a snap but it's okay that it's open. I don't mind it. You can put something really sexy under there. Like a, I'm feeling like a mesh, kind of like a mesh number under there. You can go shirtless if you're nasty. Um, you can do a white collared shirt. I would do a white collared shirt. Um, you could even do like a green, a nice green kind of to go under there and offset kind of because this is like a nude kind of color. Um, and you see it has green detail and pink. So I think like, a, like y'all know that like, yellow kind of green like not i don't want to say throw up green but it is like a throw up green because it's not like a hunter deep green and it's not like a neon green it's not like a green green it's that kind of yellow green like a mustardy green i'm thinking of that like we'll go under there i think that would be real cute so yeah i'm just nerding out a little bit but yeah this is really cute so, so he's so handsome my little blazing babe fun fact um <laughs> fun fact my first boyfriend in college was blazing because i always told everybody in high school i y'all know i'm like an anime nerd and i always was like mm, i would love to have like just a blazing that was always something i wanted to do was just date a blazing guy it was like on my bucket list and my first boyfriend in college was blazing and he was fine and he had a birthday the day after me i was the ninth he was the tenth and yeah he was real fine he was a little but he <laughs> i'm not even gonna say that he was just a little one uh but he was fine he was fine can't have everything but um so yeah that was hot couture hot couture i give you a 10 out of 10 babe you did really good i would rem I recommend you guys to go buy from them they really did really well um once again just so you guys can see some of their pieces not really because the pants is kind of below but like this a a quick little a quick little her head her glasses and fell off a quick little flash of like you know his stuff really quick so hot couture hot couture hot couture go buy go purchase i really did um appreciate the quickness i appreciated the quality and i just appreciate the business like this is what i feel like it should be like <laughs> it shouldn't be hard you know what i'm saying and, and given like not everybody's gonna be like speedy and fast i'm a very patient person y'all know this i really am um i'm just big on communication so and they i also another pro they put in there that their thing, I don't know if I said this or not, but they put in their things, their website that their things are made to order. So it's very important for these brands to put in their sites if they're made to order or not, because if they're made to order, if you don't know, made to order means they have to make it in order for you to order it. So when you order it, they have to make it. So that means you're going to wait. That means you get a heads up knowing, hey, I have to wait. And you know, if you know, you can't be mad if you know, right? So that's that. But, um, you know, I like that they let people know that their things are made to order. So next, um, we have Azul Cordier. So, y'all, this was a nightmare. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I can't even, like, sugarcoat it, but so much. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare with him. Um, <laughs> so the order was placed on June 19th. The order didn't ship until July 5th. So we are already taking a month, which is fine. And one of the, the pros that I do have listed for him is that it is known that he is made to order. So I'm fine. I was fine with that. Um, the order didn't did, <laughs> get delivered until August 7th. And that was to somebody in California. So that was to the wrong house. Um, so 
that's another month. So it took two months for it to get here. To get here, it took two months to get to the wrong address. Um, so August 1st, August 1st. So it didn't, it didn't get there till August 1st. Um, and I couldn't make a case until the 3rd because that's just Etsy's um, protocol. So I actually, this is the only place that I actually ordered from Etsy. He also has a Instagram and I believe a, a site on Instagram, but I think his site on Instagram is really just a link to his Etsy. So he might be the only one that doesn't have an official site. I'm not sure. Do not quote me on that, but he does have an Instagram. So technically you can purchase all three of these people that I'm talking about from Instagram if you are an Instagrammer, <laughs> just to make that clear. Or you can just go to their website. I'm going to be linking all the websites below um, for each of them. Um, so that was the whole thing with him. So basically he sent the stuff to the wrong place. He told me that it was a, a parcel issue. He has bad reviews on his site. I mean, on his on Etsy about where the stuff goes. Apparently this happens all the time. Um, people have had missing items. People have had, um, stuff sent to the wrong place and people have had stuff that has never came. I'm one of those people who has stuff that never came. When I show y'all what he sent, I'm going to put a picture up on here of what I ordered versus what I got. So when I'm talking about this, you'll see what I ordered, which was five items versus what I got, which was three. And we not even going, <laughs> wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to lay out and this person ships from Mexico. So these things came from Mexico. So I had to open a dispute with Etsy and get my money back. So I ended up getting my money back. Um, I went back and forth with him for a while about it. And it just seemed like we wasn't getting anywhere. And once I kind of told him I was going to open up a case, he was like, no, don't open up a case. They can take down my account. And I'm like, okay, so you know this happens to you all the time. You do this all the time. Like, you know, this is a thing. So my thing is, if you know this is a thing, and he's been around for a while. From what I've seen, he's not new. There's only one one person I'm going to talk about that's new. Hot Couture, I feel like they've been around for a while. Um, this person, I feel like, has been around for a while. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you should know better. Um, if you know you have a hard time from Mexico getting your stuff to the U.S., I just feel like everything should be like expedited shipping. You just know that's something that you have to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't be chancing it. Because when I tell y'all, if you look at his reviews... It's it's mixed. Like you have some people who really, really like his stuff and some people who really, really are like upset and hate it. If I had to tell y'all which side I'm on, I'm going to be honest. I am on the side of I don't like it. I would not recommend to buy from him. And I just don't think the quality is there. Not to wait as long as I did. So here's the kicker. So I ended up getting my money back from Etsy and I was explaining something like, you know, I got my money back. He asked me to tell Etsy that it was a parcel issue. I still think it was a him issue. I confronted him about it. I could really give y'all receipts and be messy, but I'm not going to do all that. But I could, you know, if it was to come to that. But um, I basically feel like he got mixed up and sent my stuff to somebody in California because there's no way. Like usually my keep in mind, I've never had a lost package from Etsy ever like Etsy's never, this is the first time this has ever happened to me in Etsy. Like, usually Etsy's thorough. So I'm just like, you know, how did this happen? I'm all confused. Um, so I'm just like, what? But um, he swore up and down. It was the USPS's issue. It wasn't him. Um, it took me, like, once I said I was going to open up in case and everything, we went back and forth. I stopped, I stopped responding at one point because I was just like, I don't feel like he's telling the truth. It just didn't seem authentic. Um, and then he sent me a receipt later on saying like, see, I took a picture of your package, da, 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 just as proof, like a receipt that he really did send it out. It was an envelope. Um, it looked like he, it looked like it was nothing in there to be fair. It looked like he re literally just went and got an envelope and kind of just wrote my name on it and was like, you know, Hey, I really did send this out. And I'm like, okay, in my head, I'm like, if you really did do this, why wasn't that the first thing you did when we were having this discussion? Like he sent it like hours, like maybe either hours or like a day later, he sent me the receipt of like him shipping my stuff out. So I'm just like, I'm not going for that. Um, so I was just like, you know what, since I got, you know, you caused me all this hassle, 
can you at least still make me the items? Because I really would love to review your stuff for my channel. I'm a YouTuber. Like, I really do love the items. I don't know if I told him I was a YouTuber before or after. I feel like I told him after he shipped it out. But I know I did ask him, like, can you know at least still make the items? Because I really do love your work. I was praising him and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling him how much I love his work, how much I was looking forward to seeing the things. I would still love to, like, set it off, you know, rep him. Because, you know, I'm going to tag him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm still going to promote him if it's to my liking. So he's like, yeah, of course, I'll still send it to you. Um, blah, 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 blah. So he never hit me back up. I had to hit him up again. And that was a thing that I put on the con, li con list. He he always said he was going to like update me about it. And he never gave me updates. I always had to come back to him to get the information that I was looking for. So that was a strike in my book. Like Even after he did, quote unquote, make the things and send them to me, He's st I still had to um go and like, hey, like, can I get an update? Because he, I, I, my biggest pet peeve is when somebody says they're going to do something and they don't do it. He told me he was going to update me every Friday. This was after we got our incident kind of solved. He told me he was going to update me every Friday and, you know, tell me what's what. Because I'm like, it's still saying the shipping is like, it's still, it was still looking kind of funny to me. I'm like, I don't know. This is giving scammy vibes. Um, and I feel like he sends his stuff to somebody in the U.S. and like, it just, it's a whole thing with that, but we ain't gonna get into all that right now. But um, he never gave me the updates, so that was a con. I'm like, I keep having to come to you for updates. You're not updating me, and you're just not keeping your word. You know what I'm saying? So, to make a long story short, he ended up finally shipping this stuff out. So, he finally, so keep in mind, my stuff got delivered to the wrong person August 1st. He didn't ship my stuff out until August 26th. This is the order that he told me verbatim that he was going to remake everything that I wanted, um, you know, basically free of cost because he got his money. Essie gave him his money and Essie gave, my, gave me my money. So I said, you know, the right thing as a person who, you know, sells clothes or whatever, who, as a business owner, I think a right to right the wrong would be, you know, make the stuff and give it to me, you know, give it to the customer, you know, because... This really all happened low key when you're in. So he ended up, that's what he said he was going to do. So he basically gave me his word. And I was like, you know, I thank you for having integrity, um, you know, just fixing your mistake, you know? So I was really praising him. Like I'm talking about the whole time, even till a couple weeks ago um, for writing his wrong. Cause I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get all my stuff <laughs> and come to find out this is what shows up in the mail two days later. So um, <laughs> two days ago. But so he shipped his stuff out August 26th. It didn't get here till September 6th, 16th, September 16th. Um, so it all in all, it took a long time. It took, I think, four months for this stuff to come. It took a, a total of four months for his stuff just to come. Yeah, it took four months. So it took four months from June 19th to September 16th just for him to come. So let's count real quick. September. <laughs> So, no, hold on. Literally, yeah. So, so, no, July. Oh, was it placed? No, it was placed, it was placed June. June, July, August, sep September. Yeah, so four months. I was about to say, hold on, wait. But June is, a, June is a minute ago. I'm even gagging myself. So, it took four months. <laughs> it took four months from this stuff to come. Four months. Four months. And I'm going to show you all what I got. So, let me just get up off his for a little minute. Because he had me heated, y'all. So first of all, <laughs> I got this dress. I got this dress, I guess, is like a free gift. Didn't ask for this. <laughs> this is one of the dresses that I did want, did want, which was really cute. I'm going to give him his flowers for this. And then he sent me some cubic zirconia earrings that are probably turned my ears green. And that ain't got nothing to do with, like, what? So this is four items out of the five. By now in this video, you will have seen the picture that I posted versus what I ordered versus what I got. So I'm going to try these on for y'all real quick for my model, Agnes. Let me just go over the pros real quick. So I love that, <laughs> I love that it was made to order. I love that he lets people know that it was made to order. Um, he has some good reviews on Etsy. This is not a good review for me, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because y'all know I'm fair. That's what I do. He does have some good reviews. Some people really do like his stuff and he has been around for a while. So he's doing something right. 
um, <laughs> one dress that was pretty. And the packaging was okay. I'll put a picture of packaging up here too. So I'm, I rewatch all my videos while I'm editing them. So everything will be in place. So packaging should be up here. Packaging was okay. It came in like this iridescent kind of packaging. Uh, no, I'm not gonna lie. I took a point back from the packaging because the box was beat up. The box was beat up, y'all. And he put tape around the box. I mean, like, not like tape, tape, like you would think, like package tape. Like, I'm talking about this is like the tape that you see in the little plastic. I'm like, who? Christmas tape. So I'm over here. <laughs> I'm like thinking in my head, like, how did customs even let him? I thought that wasn't a thing. It was, and it was like, it was the bus, the bus, it was just all crushed up. It was bad. But the inside, what he wrapped the things in, the, the dresses were on these little plastic things to keep the help keep the shape. And the um my glasses fogging up. I'm getting so heated. Um <laughs> but um it was in a little plastic thing to keep the shape. And um it was um it was in like an iridescent kind of bag. So I'm like, okay, package was okay. The cons are the quality is not that good. Um, he sent the wrong items. He only sent three out of five replacements. Um, he has horrible reviews on Etsy. I mean, the bad ones are really bad. Um, he's lucky I didn't put mine up there. Um, this glitter dress, it sheds. Just so you guys know, it does. It sheds. Like, you can see the particles falling out literally as you, if I'm going to put this on, you can see them just falling. So, I got glitter on my desk now. Um... He sent these wax earrings. What am I gonna do with these? Like what like why would you send these? You're just being funny at this point. Um, he never updated me like we were supposed to do. He said came out verbatim out his own mouth. He said he was gonna update me. He never updated me. Um, he didn't even offer the replacements. Like I was saying earlier in the video, I was like, hey, you know, just because, you know, you got things kind of wrong, you know, I feel like you should just offer me these clothes. I ain't say it just like that, but I was just like, you know, hey, like, I would like it if you still sent me the stuff. That's what I said. Um, and he agreed. Um, it took four months for it to get here and it came up in the beat up box. So that's that. I'm not going to say too much more about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to try them on my lovely model, Agnes, who is here with me today to try on this stuff. So let's let's see what it's giving y'all. Even though I already know what it's giving, I'm just curious to see what y'all think. Would y'all wait four months for this? Would y'all be upset if y'all were me? How do y'all feel? <laughs> How do y'all feel? Because I was pissed yesterday seeing this. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was pissed. I was pissed. I was pissed. Um, so this is the dress. This is one of the dresses that I had ordered. And I'm not trying to drag them like that, but I really didn't like a lot of stuff that I saw on his site, if I'm being honest. So when I ordered, because he was having a sale, I really wanted the two things that I wanted. It was a blue dress that I really, really wanted, and it was this pink one. Everything else was kind of like, eh, that's not really my style, but I'm going to get it, and I'm going to work it because I'm me. Because <laughs> I'm me, we're going to make it work. So this is how the dress looks up close. Um, I don't know what's going on with this poor seaming right here, but I'm not feeling it. I just don't like it. I don't think it was like, this is not the dress to kind of do that kind of seaming on. It just, to me, it just looks like you can see the seams. Um, the fit is okay. The fit is okay. It's decent. It's a good fit. Um, the back... I don't know, y'all. This just seems like... And then for the price that he was charging these for, like, without the sale, I think this was $25. I'm, this is not a $25 dress to me. This is the $10 dress. Come on, y'all. Be honest. Maybe $5 for labor. $15. But, like... And I think on sale, it was $25. I think it goes for, like, maybe $28, $30, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all can go look. I'm gonna link his stuff. I'm still gonna, you know... Because that's the right thing to do. But I'm like... Mm. So it's not bad, like it's not horrible, but it's like, it's kind of horrible, but it's just like, you know, I'm gonna use it because it was sent to me, but like, I don't even know, like when, <laughs> like, I don't know. So that's that. It's just kind of like, she don't even look like she happy in it. Like, I don't know. I got mixed feelings about that one. I don't know. This one's like my least favorite. So, yeah, uh, I have another friend of mine who ordered glitter from him, too. 
because we kind of like buy things together sometimes and I'm like, girl, well, I fear for you because it seemed like all her stuff going to be falling off. Um, This is the dress that I didn't ask for. That was kind of, I guess, like his free gift to me. Now, what I will say about this dress is it's constructed well. I do like the construction of it. I hate the pattern and I hate the colors. I just, it's just, I'm not, no shade, y'all. This is just not me. This is giving like, this is just not me. Like green and red is giving me Christmas. This is a summery dress. I don't know. It's just not, I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I don't. Um, the fit, however, I like, like the fit is a nice fit. Oh, hold on. She's all messed up. Um... She looking all crooked in here. The fit is a good fit. It's a good fit. I like the construction of the dress. Like I like, I see what he was trying to do. Like I like the straps. I like the silhouette. Um, He lined it. It is lined inside and out. I just don't like the colors. Um, I've noticed on his site, a lot of his stuff looks a lot more vibrant than it really is in person. This is showing up better on camera than what it looks like. It it literally looks like somebody got like an oven mitt and was like, oh, let's make a template of a dress and see like, you know, let's do a rough draft. And I feel like he just sent me the rough draft. Like this isn't even one of the dresses he has listed on his site, not on his Etsy or on his Instagram. So I'm just like, where did this come from? I'm like, you just, I can just tell he threw this in there. Like probably something he didn't want. <laughs> and he was like, oh, let me give it to him. So to get him off my, yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. So this is not my favorite. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. The straps is kind of coming up a little bit. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. The back is not bad. And it's like kind of fitting a little funny on her, on her a little bit. But it's overall, I like, I tried to give him a, a good, you know, I tried to give him benefit of the doubt because I like the construction of what he was trying to do. And I guess I could pull this out in the summer. And I'll make it work. Y'all know me. I, I can I can make it work. So I'm gonna make it work. But it's just like, that's not what I asked for. And that's not what you said you was gonna give me. So why even, you know what I'm saying? And then you, it's not like he didn't get his money. He got his money. So I'm like, and I did get my refund. I'm happy Etsy gave me my refund. But if it was up to him, would he have gave me my refund? Probably not. And he probably still would have sent me these little raggedy clothes. But um, <laughs> let me not. <laughs> anyway. Um, now this dress that I'm about to show y'all is gorgeous. How it is. It's very gorgeous. I really love this one. This is, this is the one that I actually ordered and really wanted. One of them. Um, and it's cute. I'm going to style it for y'all too. Just so you guys can see. I'm going I'm to do a little style. I ain't going to do go overboard. I am going to slap some heels on her. Just to bring it together for y'all. Just in case y'all want to go get it. Or y'all like it too. So... Let's put these little pumps on. I can work this one. I can work this one. He could have just, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, he could have just sent me this, but I still would have been mad because I'm like, that's not what you said. I'm really big on people keeping their word, y'all. I'm like, if you, don't tell me you're going to send me something and then don't do it. Like, because you didn't have, you could have, you could have easily said like, I'll make this dress for you, but I'll, the rest of these, I'll just send as gifts. I still would have been mad because I'm like, why would you not go out? Like as a business owner, somebody who owns a company, if it was me, because I do want to make clothes for y'all and I do want to, I do plan on selling, you know, I'm going to right my wrongs a certain way. That's just me though. But I just feel like it's the right thing to do Um, was remake the clothes. You know what I'm saying? Remake everything. So this is gorgeous. I love this. Um, the only con about this is it falls down a little bit on the boobs. So if you don't have it when they're right, it will slip down. The boobs will come out. But other than that, it's a really, really cute dress. I love it. I think it's well made. Um, it doesn't really look like the picture. I'm not going to lie. He It's something about his pictures of like how his stuff looks online versus how it looks in person to me. Personally, this is just to me personally. Um, it don't always give that. But this one is nice. I really do enjoy this one. This one made me happy. Paired with these heels, I think she looks glamorous. I think she looks gorgeous. I think she looks very classy, very demure, and very elegant in this. I can't say the same for the other two. And if y'all seen the picture that I put up here of what was supposed to be sent to me, 
I feel like she would have looked good in the other ones too. And he probably would have constructed the other ones well. Um, what I will say is when I looked on his Instagram, some of the things that other people have him tagged in, it looks like he made well made. But anything with glitter with him is just like, I know for me, because if you don't mind shedding, that might not be a con for you. For me, I don't want my shedding everywhere. I just don't. I don't need that. Um, it's just like, no. <laughs> But this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is very well made. It snaps in the back. So I did like that it snapped in the back. Um, like I said, it just slides off her boobs slightly a little bit. But you know, you can adjust that. It's not that serious to me. In the grand scheme of things, it's gorgeous though. Just for a good look. It's gorgeous. I love the shape. I love the silhouette. This, you wouldn't even think this and this is sold by the same person low key. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't think this is one of those. I don't know. It just mm -mm, this was this really one had me mad. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, this is really cute, though. So I really do love that. Um, I already read y'all the pros and cons. His stuff came from Mexico. It took four months to get here. I just wouldn't recommend nobody buying from him. I'm going to link it in there in case y'all want to go look and see. Y'all might be able to find something from him. Um, and then it's the fact that y'all, he was buttering me up and I went through your Instagram and I love your Instagram and did it like really just buttering me up just to send me this BS. Like, come on now. So I'm not going to say too much more about him. That's, I really had to put the glasses on from him because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to read you for Phil because you shouldn't have did me like that. You ain't had to do me like that. You really didn't. Like that was trifling. It, like four months. Just, I'm sorry. Let me hold these up one more time. Just so you guys can see the collection. It took four months for these to come. I just don't feel like this is four months worth of stuff. Like, I don't think this was worth the four months. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Maybe I'm being too hard. Um, I don't need anybody to validate my feelings. I really don't. So whether you agree with me or not, that's none, that's besides the point. I'm really coming on here to show you guys because, you know, being a content creator, we are the test dummies for you guys. So if it, if it fails for us, it's our job to tell you, hey, it was a fail for me. If it works for me, it's my job to tell you, hey, it was a work for me. Um, I'm never going to lead you guys in astray. I'm never going to lead you. I'm never going to tell y'all, hey, go buy this. Um, and then y'all sitting there five months later, like, why would Jewel tell me to go buy this? Be like, you know, so that's that on that. Um, last but not least, um, let's get into Plastic Tierra's closet. So... This stuff came today, so I'm still on a, a, a high from seeing this stuff, so. I did the Oreo cookie method. It's like, <laughs> you know, is it is it called the Oreo cookie method or the sandwich method? You know, when sometimes they say you're supposed to tell somebody, like, good news, and then you put it in the bed, and you kind of buffer it at the, at the end with the good. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking about when I was making this video. Um, but it's also how the stuff came, so I'm showing it to you as it came. So, um... Yeah, let me get into it with um, Plastic TR's Closet. So they come from Vietnam. Their, ships, their stuff ships from Vietnam. Um, I placed the order on July 1st. Um, it said it was on its way August 9th. And it tendered in the same exact spot in California for two weeks. I don't know what that was about from the 10th to the 17th. So that was kind of like, um, like kind of scared. I'm not going to get my stuff because keep in mind, I just went through all the stuff I went through with this person. Um, and then the stuff finally got delivered September 17th to the United States. It went through California to Pennsylvania. I don't know why it went all the way out of Pennsylvania. And then I think it ended up going to D.C. and then it came here. So, yeah. Okay, so total it took three months and two weeks for this stuff to come. So... I'll get into how I feel about that, but I want y'all to see the fashions before I really get into get too much into the pros and cons because um okay, so I also had a I also had like a little not like a tiff, but I had to kind of DM him and be like, you know, like what's going on with my order? Because he had originally hit me up because apparently like if you place an order through his site through like if you order straight from his site you're not allowed to do that if you're from the u.s if you're from the u.s you have to order it through paypal um 
So I ordered from his straight from his site and for some reason it didn't take the, the transaction. So that's when he alerted me July 1st and told me like, hey, you know, it didn't take, um, you have to actually do it this way because you're from the US. That he explained it to me, made sense. I ordered, we was fine. One thing I do want to say about Plastic Tears Closet, um, he was very um, accommodating the whole time. He also sent me re receipts of my purchase. Um, even though things took a long time, he emailed me back really fast. Um, he also said he was going to give me updates and didn't give me updates. I had to press him about the updates too. We'll get into that on the pros and cons list. But I do want to just give him his flowers because I did kind of have like a little bit of a meltdown with him. And he handled me with such care. He was respectful. And he just, he handled everything I feel like he, he should have. So I want to give him his flowers for that. Um, because even though things took forever, it took forever to get here. Um, they didn't take as long as that other person. They took three months. Um, but the quality is chef's kiss. So y'all know I'm going to keep it real on my channel. I'm always going to keep it 100. So I'm going to show you all this stuff. So I just wanted to put that out there. Like we did have an exchange. It wasn't a bad exchange. Like it wasn't disrespectful or anything like that. I'm just saying like I did have to be like, hey, like what's going on? Like, you know, can you explain this to me? Like da, 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 da. And he did, you know, we got down to the bottom of what was going on. So he actually did ship my stuff August 9th. Um, whoever, me and a friend was kind of trying to, trying to gain clarity on this. We still don't know the answer because I don't think he ever verified but I don't know if he has somebody over here that ships from him because the address on the box, like I said, I got his stuff today. The address on the box says this is from Lu Yin. If I'm saying that right, you, you Lin No. The person that I'm talking to and the person that creates these is Tran. And Tran is a, a man, from my understanding, that lives in Vietnam um, with his dog and partner because I follow him on Instagram. So... You know, Tran is the person that I've been talking to, communicating to, but the package came from Lu Yin. <laughs> so we were trying to figure out, like, is it Lu Yin? Because the stuff, like I said, um, the order was placed July 1st. It took him a month to make it. Um, one of the other cons was that um, he doesn't let people know that his stuff is made to order. So it's just like, hey, let us know that the stuff is made to order. Because like I said, I'm a patient person. Y'all know me. I've come on here and told y'all plenty of times how long it took things to come. And that was never a problem for me. I just, I'm just, I basically tell y'all so y'all know. But I usually don't complain about um, the wait because I'm like, you know, some of these things are made to order. Um, these people have are in demand, you know, so I want to be respectful. Like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not expecting you to put me to the top of the list. You know what I'm saying? So it would just be nice to know, like, hey, these are made to order, but he doesn't let people know that his stuff is made to order. So I had to put that on the con list because it's just like, you could have just let me know, you know, let me know your stuff is made to order. Um, I want to show, let me show you guys the stuff first before I try it on. So this is a little bodysuit that came with him that, um, for fashion royalty, cute little bodysuit. He has like a back that like this back is like a Velcro back. This is a cute skirt. So this is a set. I ordered a set from him. The other person, I only ordered them three dresses, but I ordered a set from him and I ordered three dresses and he gave me a free gift, which we're going to get into that too. Um, So this little skirt came as well. Really cute and very, very well made, if I must say. Like this is tight. And if you look at the pictures on his website and on his Instagram, everything that he takes pictures of translate exactly to what you get. So that's another pro that I should have wrote down. You see, what you get is what you see. That other person, I feel like what I got is not what I saw. And that's when I showed my friend, she kind of said the same thing. Like, that looks nothing like, you know, what's on the site. So I just want to put that out there, too, because I think he edited some of his pictures and stuff. And it's just like, OK, <laughs> but we're going to get off of him because I was on his neck. Sorry, I got to be honest. Ooh, my mom must be home because Bree is barking. But, um, yeah, so I really love this set. This set looks really, really cute. Really, really nice. Very well made. It's a skirt up close. I'm going to put her hands back on just so you guys can see. Breathe through me all off, but 
Yeah, so the set is the set the the quality is there. The quality is there, y'all. And I'm not gonna lie, for three months when I show you the rest of these outfits, I think y'all will wait too. <laughs> I think y'all will wait too. So I'm like, even though you know it takes forever for his stuff to come, I think it's well worth the wait, and I will order from him again. And I already have. I have ordered from him again. So um because he handled me with such care and I just felt like what he was talking about like his his stuff coming from a long time is really not his fault I don't think it's his fault um like I said his stuff actually shipped from Vietnam to the U.S. relatively fast um it was on his way August 9th and it got here the 10th it got here the 17th of August um well it looks like he took it to the post office it was in California from the 10th to the 17th. So it actually got to California from the 10th to the 17th. That's where it said it was. It was being tendered all that time. So it still got here to the U.S. relatively fast, I think within like two weeks or so. So that's not the problem. It's whoever he's working with or whoever is sending his stuff is, I don't know what's going on with that. So once again, this is just what everything looks like from afar. I just put it with these heels. Not really, they're not really matching, but you know, I feel like the quality is there. The skirt, this is all like a Velcro number. So it can be like even. Skirt looks really nice. I thought this was a really interesting skirt. It was nothing I ever seen before. It's made out of like this kind of like pleather material. It's different. Um, it was like some loose strings in the body bodysuit. I was kind of concerned of because I'm like, is this going to unravel on me? But other than that, it was cute. It was cool. So that's Plastic TR Closet two-piece. Let me try to move on for my mom disrupts my video. I'm knowing, I'm knowing she is, y'all. So if y'all, I'm telling y'all ahead of time, if I could stop and come back, y'all know why. But, um, yeah, so that's the bodysuit. Um, I'm going to show you. Oh, let me just show you the clothes real quick. So this was a dress that I ordered. Really, really cute. It comes with this bow detail that's meant to be taken apart. So you can use it as two separates. You can put this over top of other designs. I ordered this kind of like jean number with the ruffles going down. This is part of like his Y2K line. I think these are both part of the Y2K line. Um, this is part of his Renaissance line. So he has like different lines and categories that I thought was really interesting. Um, this is like a modern Renaissance line. This is the dress I thought was really cute. This is like glued on or like adhered on. That was nice. Detail with these cute little bow details. Love that. That's the dress. This was the free gift um, that he sent me was a dress. Now he told me he was going to send me a bustier. Uh, he told me he was going to send me a Venus Bustier top. This is not no Venus Bustier top. If you go on the site and you look up a Venus Bustier, it is not this. And I know what it was because that was one of the things I was thinking like, oh, I might get that from him eventually. Um, but he sent this instead. So I'm just like, why are you telling me? You, why did you tell me specifically you were going to send something and send something else? So that kind of got on my nerves, but I'm still thankful he sent this. And the quality is so good. It's like, okay, I'm not mad. But now... On his second order that he sent me, we had a little... So, because of because of all the little uh-ohs that we had in this, he said he was going to send me an extra free gift, which was a Notre Dame dress. So, I'm like, if I don't get that Notre Dame dress and this other one, he sent me something else, I'm going to be looking at him like, what is up? Like, what is up with that? But I digress. Like I said, I really do love his fashions. Like, as you can see... The quality of the things I showed you are really cute. I love that he has like zipper details in the back because it makes it easy to put these things on. So I'm just going to show you how they look really quick. So you can just zip it back up the back as such. Ooh. As such. Period. She's in there. Let's get it a little tighter. Very lovely. Let's put her, let's pair this with some blue heels.
Let's put our hands back on. I got the wrong hands on. And let's see how she what she's given. So, period, y'all. Look at this. Now, tell me this ain't cute. And, like, look at the seams. Like, this is some good semen. Like, just in comparison, y'all, I'm sorry. But, like, I feel like this is what this is supposed to give. And it's just, like, that wasn't supposed to be done on this material. I don't, I didn't like that I could see them two lines. They, you can barely see them on this. And it looks like this is how it's supposed to look. So, I really do love this. I think this is beautiful. I thought this was a nice gift. You guys can see it from the back. I'm probably getting my mom in the background. <laughs> but really, really cute. Gorgeous. I love the print that's on here. It fits her boobs really nicely. I like the zip detail in the back. Like, it just looks... It just adds a, another... The zip in the back just adds a whole nother level of, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like... Mm, I like the zips. I really do like the zips. So she's in here quite nice. And Bree's in the way. But, um, yeah, so that was that. That was the free gift. Really liked that. Really was feeling the colors of that. Like, I just really liked it as the all. It was just really, really cute. So let's try when... Let's try on this one first. This one next. I'll just kind of keep it in the family, kind of go down the line. Brie all happy my mom's home. Cinch her up in the back really quick. Okay. So as you can see, fits like a glove. Mm-hmm. Get into it. <laughs> Get into it. Fits like a glove. Tata's is looking real nice in there. Period. She's eating it. Waist is snatched. She is zipped. Brie, I'm like, she in the way. <laughs> She's in the way. <laughs> She's in the way. I want to put this on the top. Okay. So this is the little bow detail that I really loved. I love that he has like this little bow detail that you can just kind of add on and just upgrade the look a little bit. Like, come on now, y'all. What? Now, let me just do a little restyle real quick. Let me just throw some heel, a, a little heel on there real quick. We ain't going to lace them up. We just going to give y'all a fantasy real quick just to, just to see where you can go with it. I'm going to show y'all where I'm going to go with it. I don't know if I'm going to go exactly like this with it, but for now, this is where I'm going with it. <laughs> so... Put a little heel on Like, come on now, y'all. What? What? This is cute. This is cute. Mm-hmm. Once again. Nice. We're going to put some earrings on with it. I'm just put some earrings on with it. Just be a little extra real quick. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't like, this isn't like the perfect fit, but I don't, it doesn't bother me because I'm like, I can just kind of like, you know, put that back together. I know I just put one earring in, but y'all get that. Y'all get what it's given. Y'all get what it's given. Period. That earring never wants to stay in one her for some reason. Okay, so that's that.
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We only got two more dresses to go, y'all, and then we we done, we done. So, this next one is kind of like a jean kind of look. Once again, that zipper in the back, I love the zipper in the back. And I love how his, his clothes kind of keep the silhouette too. I love that. I feel like that's just a good sign of, Somebody who knows how to make clothes. Like, not everybody's got to look like that. And there's some people who literally don't have that at all. And I still love their fashions. I don't even know if integrity clothes always keep their stiffness like that. Some items do, but not all of them. But I, that's just something I like to see in doll clothes. I just think that's so, like, it's dope. <laughs> it's like, how'd you do that? Like, okay. So, slide this on her real quick. Brie's still going off in the background. <laughs> um, I'm going to pair it with some boots. I wouldn't wear these earrings with this, but I'm not mad at it right now. I'm just going to pair it with some boots. Mm hmm. Put her hands back on. So period, y'all, look at this. Beautiful. 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 So I thought, I was thinking this could have just, I was thinking this was gonna be up like a little more. Like I just, something about this is given like, it's very elongated, but I also really, really like it. Like I like, it. I like that about it. It's like something like, I'm like, mm, but I'm like, okay, I really, I actually really like that about it. Cause I was like, I just felt like this was supposed to stop like a little, but I really do love it. It does her, it did, it gives like a elongated waist. And usually these are for like, he has them model like Poppy. Um, he has them on like Poppy. Fashion royalties and like new faces, but I feel like they fit best on fashion royalties. He has them with fashion royalties too, so I really like this look. I thought this was different. This was cute. I probably wouldn't use these boots to be exact, but you know, for now, cutesy. Very cutesy. Mm hmm. Like I said, she's zipped in the back. Like, like I said, y'all, for the quality. My phone's on 20%. For the quality, I can wait three months. I can do it. I can wait. I can wait three months for this. I can. I can. So I'm happy. I'm gonna show y'all my last but not least. This might be the favorite, my favorite out of the um the bunch. So let's just see. I'm gonna say I'm trying to be easy. I don't wanna break nothing. Because when the girl is cinched in, she is cinched in. So with these, I might not even like zip them all the way up because they are a little hard to zip down. But I don't like that. I don't, I'm not mad at that because it means she's not going to come up out of it easily. And um, the fit is there. <laughs> like the fit is there. Like I think these hug the body the best out of all the items I've shown you on, on the video today. So ta-da, like applaud yourself, Plastic TR, because tier, because... You ate that. You ate that. So let's just go over the, the pros and the cons real quick. So the pros, great, great quality, really great quality. He actually sent me a free gift, even though it wasn't the gift that he said he was going to send. He still he still righted his wrong in a sense. Um, respectful and integrity. He responded with respect and integrity. Even when I, I, you could tell I was a little tight in them emails. He still kept it professional as did I, but still like, he just still handled me with care. Like as a customer that he could tell was upset, he still handled me with care. Worth the wait because they are worth the wait because of the quality. I think it's really, really good quality. I would buy from him again. Um, Plastic T Tierra kind of came out of nowhere. I only been on the doll scene for about um, two years, three years now. Um, 
and this this account came within like this year so this is like something that just popped up out of nowhere um everybody's buzzing everybody's talking about him so i know he's still new so you know he gets a pass because he is still new and you know he came with some good quality like that's what had all of us excited so i was telling him i really sent him a nice respectful email um and just told him like you know you got really good clothes and stuff like you know i want him to win um it's just we got to get the shipping together babe we just got to get the shipping together babe we do we got to get that shipping together and i feel like it's not really his fault so i'm not going to be on him too much about shipping now now i'm gonna let it be um and his stuff came it actually made it to me so you know that's another you know okay in my book um and then he did say he was going to send me a, a Notre Dame dress or send me a, another dress with my most recent order just to, once again, like, right his wrong. So, I appreciate that. So, like I said, good customer service. I really appreciate good customer service, y'all. Because I always have had good customer service at all of my jobs, even the one I'm at now. I'm always, I have good customer service. I've always been very accommodating and just done the right thing. So, I appreciate it when it's done back to me. Um, the cons was... Like I said, I don't really get too many updates from him. Um, he ain't put that Venus boosty air top in here. It did take three, min three months to come. That's not really a con because I can wait. But it was just the fact that he had it as if it already shipped. I was under the impression that it came earlier than it really did. Um, and that was another thing. Like he had said he was like in the process of making things. And I'm like, okay, but the it says it's shipped. So why are you still working on stuff? Okay. Um, and then I already talked to y'all about, like, I really don't think it's him with the shipping. I think he might be working with somebody else over in the U.S. who takes a little while to, like, ship his stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. And then just to compare to Hot Couture, he doesn't always clear his inventory. That's what I was kind of talking about. Like, it's a lot of stuff that'll be on Plastic Tears site that's, like, sold out. And it's like, okay, if it's sold out, babe, take it off the site. But I will say, I'm gonna give him his flowers. He does have, um one of those things where you can kind of like filter it so you don't have to see those things but i'm just like they've been sold out for a long time so i was like you might as well just take them down for a little bit that's more of a personal preference um i wouldn't necessarily fault him for that but it's just like you know for some of us who really love his fashions and i'm giving y'all my opinions along with some of the other people that i've talked to like a friend that i have other people have talked about this on instagram kind of got out so it's just like what I'm saying is really new to y'all. It's not new to anybody else from Instagram or like who's really into like doll fashion and stuff like that. That this on the photography Instagram side, they would probably read and be like, "Oh yeah, I had the same experience." But it's more so new to y'all for people who haven't ordered yet. But um, and this is really beautiful, by the way. Like this is gorgeous. But um, yeah, I just I just need to figure out what's going on with the ship, and that's the only thing. Like it's a long, long wait. <laughs> it's three months but now that i know it's three months and i know that it's made to order and it's like i kind of felt you know i didn't i didn't been around the block a few times now i know better um for a lack of better words better metaphor um i know what to expect and i will continue to order from him and support him um as long as the fashions is is giving this giving what i needed to give he'll get a couple of dollars out of me here and there so Shout out to Plastic Sierra <laughs> for writing this wrong and really having just fabulous fashions. Like, you know, like I'm saying, like when you when you messing up a little bit, you can make a girl eat their own words, you know, if the, the quality is there. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people was hooping and hollering about how long these was taking to come. And I was one of the people like, y'all just be patient. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, somebody had DM me and was like, it take a month for my stuff to come. I'm like, girl, it's taking a month for my stuff to come. I'm being patient still. I didn't get impatient until I was the, under the impression that it was already sent out and made and it wasn't. That's when I got a little, I left that kind of part out of the story, but that's what made me be like, okay, what's going on? Like, what's up? So I had to check that. But once we we talked, we conversated, like I said, he was respectful. He responded with integrity. He offered to send me free gifts. I didn't have to ask him or anything like that. It was just like, he did the right thing. So I'm gonna give him a solid eight out of 10 because everything is good. It's just the shipping and communication and the the little hiccups that we had, but he fixed it. And like I said, this the outfits are worth the wait. This is gorgeous. You cannot tell me this isn't gorgeous. She is wearing it very well. I wouldn't pair no boots with these. I would, I could, but 
I would rather heels. I'm still, y'all know I'm new to Integrity Dolls, so I'm still trying to like well round my collection. So, and this is um a Velcro bag. Oh, I ain't even, I ain't even, look, look, she eating the dress up and I ain't even, I ain't even Velcro her, Velcro her down all the way and it was fitting right. So period. So here you go. Now that it's Velcro down, right? Look at how it's fitting. She's still, she's still eating it up, still eating it up. So that's another pro. You ain't even got to Velcro, Velcro his clothes up and they still, girl, still gonna be snatched, period. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how his stuff went. And like I said, his stuff came from Vietnam. So overall, 8 out of 10. Um, I really do like the fashions. I already have ordered from him again. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys when that stuff comes. So he's good in my book. Um, we got that situated. So yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting, intriguing. I hope it gave you some insight on where you guys might want to order from for my integrity collectors. Some of this stuff will work well on Barbie. Um, if you're feeling risky, um, I didn't try anything on there for y'all, but usually the integrity stuff does work on Barbie and the stuff that I use. Everything I've put on a Barbie from integrity usually does work. If anything, it might be too small in the way, so be careful about that, but a lot of their stuff tends to work, if I'm being honest. So that's just a little gem. And Poppy and Barbie can wear the same shoes. I've told y'all that before. Just saying it again. So once again, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, go check these three people out. I know I wasn't really a fan of all of them, but I'm still going to put them on my platform. Um, you guys are open to buy from them at your own will. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of like the news guy. I'm the news lady. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm just reporting to y'all, literally, um, and sharing my experience with y'all. So I hope you guys um, have a good day, a good weekend, a good night, a good morning. Whenever you're watching this, I hope it was entertaining. I hope you guys fell in love with the fashions as much as I did, majority of them. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and bye for now.